Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video. So, um, the Lakers lose tonight, um, 111 to 102 to, um, the Minnesota Timberwolves. LeBron James had 28 points in a losing effort. Uh, Russell Westbrook had, um, 18 points, had a nice game, but just wasn't enough, and, the Lakers fall to 0 and 5. And uh, I just want to say something. I, I might make those videos earlier. But now, man, I really feel I really feel bad, man. I feel bad for Lakers fans and I feel bad, man. I really feel bad for them. You know, I, I just feel bad for them, man. I really do. I never thought I would say that. I just feel bad for them. Like it's, it's, it's so bad that it's not even funny anymore, man. It's not funny. You know, I, I just never want to see them. I would have liked to see them play well, but I just, I just, man, man, it, I just, man, I just. That's that sucks, man. That that really sucks. Because it's just it's it's just it's not it's not even funny anymore, man. When you when you get to the point where you're losing and it's not funny anymore. It's not funny anymore. And I'm not gonna just bash, bash, bash. I'm not gonna do that, man. I'm not gonna do them I'm not gonna do them like that. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna keep bashing this team, man. I feel bad. I feel bad for Laker fans. I just... I feel bad, man. I feel bad, man. I, I feel bad. I really do feel bad for them. I just... I just like man, I, I just feel bad. That it's not even, it's not even funny. And you gotta look at it on top of this too. That you can't blame Brian for this, man. Brian, and I know people gonna kill me in the comment section. They ain't gonna be on this long. But you can't blame Brian for this, man. You can't blame him for this. It's not his fault. That he doesn't have enough help. This team is just not that good. And Russ is not the same guy he once was 10 years ago. Or he's not the same guy he was five years ago. That Russ is totally different. He's older now. But he played, he he gave, he scored 18 points tonight. So I'm, I'm not going to bash him. But it's just, you know, y'all think that bitching Russell Westbrook was the answer. And it's not. You know, it, it's to the point, and I told y'all that they should just, after Bron leave, because he got one more year next year. After that, if he wants to go somewhere else, let him go, because he'll be, what, two years, he'll be, what, 40 years old. Why not just go ahead on and rebuild, man? Just rebuild. The writing is on the wall. That I, I I didn't want to see them hit rock bottom like this. Oh, and five, and I like Gavin Ham. He's a good guy. But how can you win when you don't have any you don't have any talent? You got Anthony Davis who can't stay healthy. He just cannot stay healthy, man. And it's he's killing the Lakers. And it's just like it's to the point. It's not even funny anymore. And I know we got YouTubers out here tonight. That's, that's that's having fun and I, I'm I'm I don't think it's funny anymore. I think it's very very sad that how did everybody blaming Brian for this? But how can you win if you don't have any help, man? You cannot win by yourself, man. This team they have no shooting, they have no talent, man. This team this team is terrible, and it's only going to get worse. The beatings are are going to continue. 
Because Brian, come on, man. Carl Anthony Towns and and um, Rudy Gobert, come on, man. That's that's too much. That's just that's come on, man. That that come on, man. What is he supposed to do? He's already older as it is. Brian ain't supposed to be doing all this workload at 37 years old. Come on, let's get real. You know, I'm 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 just being real with you. Just be realistic. And I feel bad for this man. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for these Laker fans. I, I, I don't want to come in here like I'm bad. It's to the point where I just feel bad, man. That it's that sad. Like, it's just sad, man. How far this team has failed. That you got people out here tonight that's going to bash Brian. I know they are. They have on, on on Facebook. Oh, they having a good time with this. You know, it, it's just, it makes me sad, man. That it's this group on Facebook. Every day they go up there and they bash Brian. I can imagine what this man is going through. And I feel bad for him. I feel bad for Russ. That things are not working out. I feel bad for AD. I don't want nothing bad to happen to them. But it's just sad that everything I said was true. That I don't think I don't they're not gonna make the playoffs. It's obvious. I'm not gonna say never because you still got seventy seven more games to go. But they got they gotta get they gotta win some ball games, man. On five, that's that's a hole in, in the Western Conference. I, I just man, this is this is this is not looking good, man. And I just I saw I was at the store tonight, and I'm only gonna do a video because I got a video that I made earlier. I want y'all to watch, and it's just like man. It's not even fun anymore. It's not funny anymore. I feel sorry for the Lakers. I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for their fans. Because I just feel like management is letting them down. I feel like it's it's, it's sad, man. I feel sad. I feel bad for Brian. Because he did not deserve this. He left a team that went to the finals every year for a team that that this going to be the third time in five years that Bron ain't been in the playoffs. Only been past the, the second round one time. That's it. I feel bad for this man. I feel bad for him. Because they, outside of 2020, they have put nothing around this man. AD's been hurt the whole time. Why you think New Orleans, they knew what they were doing. They traded him because he couldn't stay healthy. Now they they traded, now new, look at New Orleans Pelicans. They're younger, they're athletic, they got shooters, they got defenders. They they got big men, they their future is on the rise. Lakers traded all they, they players, so even if they do tank, they're not going to get any draft picks. This team is screwed, man. They are financially screwed. I'm not going to curse. But they, I, I feel sorry for them. I feel bad. It's not funny. I'm not going to keep bashing them because I want to see them do well. Because somebody tonight said something to me on Facebook today. And that really bothered me, man. Because I just, it's hard to, it's, and I have no problem with the Lakers. But it's just, this is why I stopped watching them, man. I, I, I used to watch Laker games for years. But it's just, the man, I just got tired of the management, man. Year after year after year of this, man. When are they? When is Jeannie Bus gonna get it together? Ever since, ever since, um, Doctor Jerry Bus died, this team has went to hell, man. It's it's beyond sad, man. I feel bad for them. 
I feel so sorry for them. Because it's just a sadness, man, that I don't want to see them suffer. But I know you got YouTubers out here tonight, boy. I know they, they going to town. You know who they are. This ain't no no diss videos or nothing. This, I'm not dissing nobody. But they out here bashing this man. But he can't do it all by himself, can he? They set Brian up for failure, man. I blame this on Laker management. That they did not put enough talent around this man. A bunch of veteran minimum players. But like I said, they can only do the best they can do. They doing the best they can with what they have. They don't have very much. And I'm not going to say they can't make the playoffs because you got 77 more games left. If they could figure out some way to win some games, they can be competitive. I'm not going to come in here and be negative. I'm not going to do that anymore. Maybe I am too negative. That it's time for me to stop doing that. Because I listen to some of my older videos. I'm like, maybe I'm being too hard. I don't want to be hard on this team. Because I know you got a lot of Laker fans, loyal Laker fans. Like, I used to love Kobe. And I used to watch their game. I got the, the league pass to watch Laker games. But they just kept losing and losing and losing. And it just got, I just got tired of it, man. I got tired. It seemed like after 2013, it's just losing. And, and the same, I go through the same thing with the Miami Marlins. I love the Miami Marlins. I watch all their games all the time. And it just makes me sad, man, when I look at the Marlins. Nobody comes to the games. I mean, let me get off the I know I'm off the side, but let me say this. Nobody comes to our game. Home Depot Park, where the Marlins play at beautiful stadium, indoor stadium. You don't have to you don't have to go out in that Miami in the summertime. You don't you got day games, you got a dome, you're playing this side of the dome. They make up every excuse not to go to Marlins games. But I, I just love this. T I would I, I would never give up on the Marlins. Never. But Lakers, they just year after year of this. When are they going to get tired of this? When are they going to get back to Kobe and Shaq? When are they going to get back to Magic? When are they going to get back to Nick Van Exel, Eddie Jones? All them teams, that, that team, that 95 team. If y'all remember that team, that team that upset that upset the um, that upset the Seattle Supersonics. When they gonna get back? To Ninety five. Nick Van Exel, Eddie Jones, Cedric Sabalas. I know. I know a lot of young cats don't really know who they are. When they gonna get back to the nineties Lakers? <laughs> when they gonna get back to NBA on NBC Lakers? I mean. When are they going to get back to that? It, it's just... I don't know what's wrong with it, man. It's it just... It's just sad, man. It's just sad. This is very sad, man. That they paid Braun so much. They paid Russ so much. They paid AD that they couldn't afford to get nobody else. And you traded all your, all your young assets. You traded away all your... You let all your, your shooting... The shooters walk out the door. This is just beyond sad, man. It's not even funny anymore. And you can't really blame this on Brian. I blame this on Rob Palenka and Jeannie Buss because they have turned this team into actually dog poop. They are now the laughing stock of the NBA. I'm not even going to go on Facebook tonight because I'm just tired of that. That man can't win by himself. You gotta have, he has to have help, man. Brian can't do it all by, especially at his age. People talk all this smack about Brian, but let them do what he's doing at 37 years old. And you come talk to me. And I'm not kissing his butt or none of that. But I, I just feel bad for him, man. Because he put his trust in this organization. And what have they got him? Okay, one championship. And I'm not gonna bash them because. COVID-19, they couldn't help that. 
I might say that little bubble stuff, but it was nothing they could do. It was a pandemic. People were dying. But see, nobody wants to hear that. All y'all want to do is just talk negative all the time. It's just bad, man. It, it, this is this is bad. 0 and 5? Not humiliated? This, I, I feel bad for them, man. I feel bad, man. I just, I'm not going to say nothing bad about this team. I feel bad for them. I feel bad that they, they, they put all their trust in Anthony Davis and look what he's done to them. This man cannot stay healthy. And I told y'all all this stuff this summer that y'all thought I was just hating. I was just telling the truth. I'm not going to keep saying it because I know that's irritating. And I know that we got a lot of loyal purple and gold people. I know they're hurting right now. I'm, I mean, this got to be embarrassing. This is very embarrassing, man. This is very, and this is the reason why I stopped watching this team. I still watch them from time to time. But I just stopped watching them, man. I got tired of paying for lead pass just to get to to, 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 to win, to lose 50 games a year. They're on their way to losing 50 games again. They lost, what, 49 last year. This is embarrassing. That They got the Laker management. They got to do better than this. Traded all your tricks for Anthony Davis, a guy who can't stay healthy. And then y'all come with excuse about putting putting Russ on the bench. What good is that going to do to you? You just don't have no talent. This team is just not that good. You went out there last year and got all them older players. Half of that, half the roster, half of the bench players they had last year, they're not even on any other NBA. They're not even on NBA teams. Dwight Howard, Kent Bazemore, Carmelo Anthony, they're not even. They're out of the NBA right now. And this team is terrible, man. That's all I got. I ain't going to be on this long. But if y'all looking for me to just, uh, for me to say something negative tonight, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not in the mood for it. Because it's just, to this point, it's just sad, man. It makes me sad. I looked at that, I looked at that thing. I said, come on, man. Oh, and five. Man, this has got to be embarrassing. But um, I hope that they can get it together. That's all I got. I ain't got nothing bad to say tonight. I'm not going to jump on. I'm not going to kick people when they down. And I know a lot of people enjoying Brian. I know y'all enjoying it. Let's just be honest. Y'all enjoy this man losing. Y'all enjoying it. They probably out here. They probably they probably ejaculating off of, off of Brian with losing. And it's sad, man, that y'all pray for people downfall, man. Y'all praying, y'all laughing at Russell Westbrook. It's sad, man, that y'all pray on people downfall, man. That you hate a man that bad that you want him to lose. I want LeBron to be successful. But it's just sad at this point. I'm not going to say nothing bad. It's sad, man. It's, this, is, this is beyond sad. And I feel bad. I feel bad for Laker fans. I really feel bad. I, I I I can't believe I'm saying that. I just it's just it's just it's sad, man. This is beyond sad. This is it's depressing. How far this team has has how just how far this team has failed. It's just beyond. It's at this point. It's not even funny anymore. It's just sad. But that's all I got to say. I hope they can get it together. Because the season ain't over yet. But they really got to quickly turn this around. Tell me what you think. I'm out.